Hi, it's Katrina. From the intricate fortress of Sacsayhuaman to the humongous underground city of Derinkuyu, here are the top nine ancient sites that some people believe were built by aliens. Number nine, Sacsayhuaman. Our planet has many astounding relics from the past that we still don't understand how people from that era were able to make them. To explain missing links, people claim that ancient civilizations must have had help from interstellar friends. The fortress of Sacsayhuaman, or Sexy Woman if you don't speak Spanish, is a fortress believed to have been built by aliens. Located in the Peruvian Andes just outside the old Inca capital of Cusco, this fortress is estimated to be over 1,000 years old. The walls are built out of enormous stones that seem to be carved with laser-like precision. The rocks are stacked together like a jigsaw puzzle and are estimated to weigh almost 360 tons each. Not just that, to build the fortress, the rocks were hauled for more than 32 kilometers before being lifted and placed with such immaculate perfection. Sacsayhuaman continues to baffle the scientific community. Archaeologists have tried to debunk the mystery of this alien wonder. It turns out the Inca Empire had already mastered engineering skills way before other civilizations rose to prominence. They built several fortified complexes for astrological readings and to keep track of calendars. As to how the Incas moved the stones remains a mystery. However, of course, there are many theories based on the traces of evidence discovered across the sites. According to one popular belief, the Incas had developed a rope and lever system which could move very large stones. Even modern-day machinery would have a hard time transporting these intricate masonry designs. How exactly did they do it? We still don't know for sure, so until then, just turn on Ancient Aliens on the History Channel and they will have an explanation for everything. Number 8. Easter Island Heads these iconic heads are known as Moai by the Rapa Nui people who carved the figures between 1100 to 1680 AD, or CE for Common Era, whichever you want to call it. Considering there are so many of them and the fact that they are so huge, a lot of people actually believe they were built by aliens. Not just that, they are located on one of the most remote places on Earth, which today is inhabited by only a few people. Almost 1,000 statues have been documented, which on average weigh up to around 10 tons each. However, there are many that were not completed that weigh over 200 tons. What's even more astounding is that an archaeological expedition discovered that the massive heads that we see on the surface have full bodies underneath them. The Easter Island Statue Project has spent nearly 20 years documenting and studying almost 1,000 statues trying to find the meaning and history behind each one. That's almost an insane amount of work for people living on an island that is only 64 square miles with limited tools and resources. So the question is, were these people extremely skilled or did they have outside help? Many authors who believe in ancient aliens coming to help early civilizations have claimed that spaceships were marooned on Easter Island, and so they used lasers to carve statues to entertain themselves until the ship was repaired. The people of the island saw them and tried to copy the work themselves. Others claim that Easter Island is a beacon for other world travelers who used to go there. What? So Polynesians can't take the credit? Scientific research shows that the statues were carved from local volcanic rock, but the mysterious part is how they were moved, again, and why the people stopped building them. But there is no doubt really as to who was responsible for them. It is a wonder and a mystery as to how the Easter Island civilization was able to craft these monolithic masterpieces. Number 7. Nazca Lines you would think that nothing much can survive the harsh conditions of a hot, windy desert, but apparently, the Nazca Lines have stood the test of time. In the Atacama Desert of southern Peru, there are thousands of geometric lines etched on a high plateau. If you happen to be walking around the area in the past, they might have just seemed like random formations. These lines form about 300 geometric shapes and 70 animal and plant figures that feature a monkey, a hummingbird, and a spider, to name a few, right in the middle of no man's land. The longest lines span up to 1,200 feet or 366 meters, and the only way for anyone to appreciate them is from the air. The lines are virtually impossible to appreciate from the ground. So the question is, who designed the Nazca lines and why? How was it possible to make such accurate large-scale drawings on the ground without being able to see them from above? Since they were discovered in the 1920s, archaeologists and professors began to notice that the lines lined up with the sun on certain days and therefore concluded that they must be a massive astronomic calendar. The Nazca people are credited with creating these lines between 500 to 2,000 years ago. The lines were made by scraping away the soil, revealing lighter rocks 
rock underneath and may have been preserved by the dry climate and lack of erosion. While everyone agrees on how they were made, no one knows why. The main theory is that they were some type of calendar or that the lines might also mark sacred sites or roads or indicate the location of underground water sources. Those who believe in ancient astronauts believe that they may have been landing strips for the gods, or in other words, aliens who had come to visit the people living there. Or they may have been created by ancient aliens themselves as markers or as a way to help the people leave a message for the future. Regardless, the Nazca Lines of Peru remain one of history's most fascinating mysteries. Number 6. Egyptian Pyramids The iconic pyramids of Egypt are some of the most magnificent structures ever made in history. Even though they were built over 4,500 years ago, they still stand firm in the Giza Desert just outside Cairo. Built to preserve the remains of the pharaoh and his family members, they were made to withstand the test of time. However, nobody knows exactly how these majestic structures were built. The Egyptians had the amazing ability to align things to true north quite accurately, and the pyramids were no exception. No one knows quite how they did this, and so enters the alien theory. Studies show about 10,000 to 20,000 people built the pyramids and that these people were not slaves and were actually well fed. Documents were found stating that enough cows, sheep and goats were slaughtered to produce 4,000 pounds of meat every day. Camps were set up near the pyramids with animals kept in corrals and a nearby port was used to bring in all the supplies. It only took them around 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. However, considering the Egyptians had no heavy-duty machinery, it has been hard to say how the stone was brought in and layered so precisely. The chiseled stone weighed at least 2 to 3 tons, and the Great Pyramid alone has over 2 million of them. According to ancient aliens, the construction of these giants in the middle of the desert is not a mere coincidence. The pyramids are aligned with an astronomical configuration of Orion's belt. The Great Pyramid is more accurate in alignment than the Meridian Building at the Greenwich Observatory in London. So are these monuments really a symbol of an alien presence? The ancient alien theory claims that the pyramids are actually much older than what history tells us and that it was an alien race that built the pyramids 12,500 years ago. According to them, it would have been impossible for the Egyptians to have built the pyramids with such accuracy using ropes and wood and without even having a compass. Number 5. Stonehenge just outside Salisbury in the English countryside sits Stonehenge. It is a unique arrangement of giant stones that weigh as much as 30 tons each, arranged in a circular pattern. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument that took Neolithic builders an estimated 1,500 years to erect. What we see now was actually part of a larger sacred area that evolved over 10,000 years. Some of the stones were transported over 140 miles from Wales, and scientists can still not agree on how ancient people were able to create create these structures without modern technology. Archaeologists have found dozens of burial grounds at the site as well as remains of ancient shrines. Scientists agree that Stonehenge was not only a sacred burial site, but a site of healing, pilgrimage, and a celebration of the solstices. The ancient alien theory is a school of thought that does not believe ancient people were intelligent enough or had the technology to build the ancient wonders of the world, and so they must have had help. Aliens must have come down to help the Neolithic builders to study the stars, cut the stones, transport them, and align them properly to make sure that they withstood the test of time. Its whole purpose of being might have been for the aliens all along. Its mysteries are still being unlocked. Number 4. Teotihuacan the ancient city of Teotihuacan in Mexico is also known as the City of the Gods. This city is known for its monumental temples and astronomical configurations. It is believed to have been built more than 2,000 years ago, and for that time period, ancient astronaut theorists argue that its size and complexity seems beyond human capabilities. This enormous urban organized city has often been compared to ancient Rome by archaeologists, and it is estimated that the city could have housed over 200,000 people. Everyone from the Maya to the Toltec lived there after a volcano erupted and refugees started flooding into Teotihuacan, making it grow even further. This city was built by hand over 1,000 years before the arrival of the Aztecs, and no one is quite sure what led to its decline around 450 AD. Teotihuacan is considered too advanced to have existed without outside help, with all of its urbanization, murals, advanced agricultural practices, and transportation system. The Pyramid of the Sun is probably its most recognized structure. Its orientation is thought to be based on their calendar and movement of the stars and the sun like most of the other structures included on this list. Interestingly, the Pyramid of Giza and the Pyramid of the Sun have approximately the same base size, with the latter almost half as tall. 
Ancient astronaut theorists argue that this relationship, as well as its astronomical accuracy, proves that aliens were involved in building the pyramids in both locations. Think about that. Number 3. Puma Punku This ancient site located in the Andes, Bolivia, dates back to nearly 15,000 BC. The Puma Punku ruins have led to many debates among the scientific community. The megalithic stones found here are among the largest on the planet, measuring up to 26 feet long and weighing more than 100 tons each. The ruins are part of a larger site known as Tiwanaku and was already abandoned when the Incas arrived. Dated from 536 to 600 AD, the Incas believed it was where Viracocha, their main god, created humanity. Ancient astronomers slash alien theorists argue the carbon dating method is wrong and that the city must have been created thousands of years before that. Several explorers and archaeologists claim that the city was built 15,000 to 17,000 years ago. Back then, their temples and streets would have aligned perfectly with the solstices. Their stone cutting and decoration is extremely precise, almost laser-like, and there are no chisel marks anywhere. There isn't even enough room to stick a needle through the cracks. There was also a complex, efficient irrigation system throughout the city. The intricate designs have made some believe that the ancient people from Puma Punku might have actually had some extraterrestrial assistance. Number 2. Baalbek, Lebanon Baalbek is a city in Lebanon with a population of around 83,000 people. It is famous for being the home of one of the most mysterious ruins of the Roman Empire. It turns out that a 2,000-year-old Roman temple to Jupiter was built on top of three stone blocks weighing almost 1,000 tons each. In the quarry, there are two gigantic stones that never made it into the temple. One of the stones, known as the Stone of the South, is the largest worked monolith on Earth, weighing in at 1,242 tons. Right across from it also lies the stone of the pregnant woman, which is also estimated to be around 1,000 tons. The true origin of this site still remains unknown, however what is more baffling is how these stones got there in the first place before being precisely set. Numerous stories have been going around the town for centuries. According to one story, there once lived a pregnant woman who tricked people into believing she would share the secret of how to move the giant stones only if the people provided her with food until she gave birth. Some say the stone grants the woman who touches it with fertility. Others say that a giant genie was responsible for moving and cutting the stones. And the rest? You already know the answer. It was aliens. The stones are cut very precisely and the origins of the sacred spot underneath the Temple of Jupiter are shrouded in mystery. It could have been built by the Phoenicians, or rumor has it that Cain himself may have built it with enslaved giants. They were placed extremely accurately and why they would use such enormous blocks isn't clear. Number 1. Derinkuyu, Turkey Located in Cappadocia, Turkey, Derinkuyu is one of several underground cities that have been discovered in the region. Cappadocia itself is renowned for its strange rock formations, valleys, and cave homes. With over 200 underground villages and tunnel towns, they are full of secret passageways and hidden rooms. Derinkuyu was discovered by accident by a man in 1963 who knocked down a wall in his basement and discovered a secret room leading to this underground city. Thought to have been created during the Byzantine era in 780 to 1180 AD, it was most likely used as a bunker to protect inhabitants from the Arab-Byzantine wars. It is over 250 feet deep and has 18 stories, 8 of which you can visit. It is believed to have housed around 20,000 people. Researchers have even found bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, churches, and a school, as well as stables, wells, and tombs inside the city. There are around 15,000 air shafts that kept it ventilated and livable. Nobody knows how or when the passageways were built, but what is more of a mystery is how it managed to retain all the tunnels without caving in. An 8-kilometer long passageway has been discovered which connects it with another city in Kaimakli, suggesting mutual cooperation and trade went on below, while war and invasions went on above. There is still a mystery as to who built it to begin with and why. How were they able to engineer cities underground, making sure everyone was safe? Until science proves otherwise, there are always some who believe in humans getting a little help from ancient aliens. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time on Origins Explained!